guys, Airsoft Elite Reviews here. Um, today I will be doing a review on the ZM51 and the ZM21. I got this is the ZM51 is a sniper rifle, as you can probably tell. It um I got it off of eBay for sixty dollars. It's originally fifty-four dollars, but I got I paid sixty dollars for this extra gun. Um it's free shipping if you get it off of eBay, which is boss. And so, because um, usually these types of guns take like, I don't know, $20, $30 of shipping, which is a drag. But anyway, so yeah, let's get on to the uh, review. So, anyway, I'm going to try and do this a little fast because it might take too long to upload. So, if I'm going too fast and you don't understand, just, you know, uh, put the question up on the comments and I will answer them. So, anyway, this is a bolt-action sniper rifle. I cannot pull back the bolt right now because I am using a phone, but lift that up, pull it back, bring, bring it back in, pull that down, pull the trigger, boom, you're ready to go. So, anyway, we when you get this off of eBay, you will get the ZM51. The weird thing about this gun is that instead of having this part uh, separated from the barrel and the trigger system, the butt stock is separated from everything else. So all you have to do is just um, separate, uh, add the butt stock to the sniper rifle and you're good. Um, it comes with an e electronic scope, a bipod, and a sling. Um, the electronic scope is your regular, you know, electronic scope with the crosshair and all that good stuff. The cool thing about this, it doesn't take those expensive watch batteries. It takes the, you know, the tiny miniature batteries, um, two of them. So it's a little more common and um, not as expensive. So then the bipod is okay. It's ABS plastic, you know. You'd probably get one, a better one for $20 or so. Uh, the sling is really good um, quality. It has, I'm sorry, the sling mounts are right here. And there. But anyway, the sling has metal hinges. This is very st sturdy and feels great. And then, yeah, it has another metal thing there. So the sling is quite good quality. The one bad thing about this gun, or most sniper rifles have the safety right here. That is not very convenient because let's say you're getting attacked. You pull back the bolt. And while you pull it back, you accidentally hit the safety. When you're ready to shoot, you know, uh-oh, you've got safety and the other guy shoots you. So that's kind of a bit of a drag, you know, but most sniper rifles have that. Um, this is a big gun, at least for me. Um, this is 43 inches. Um, I actually got an upgraded type of... ZM51 because Hobbytron, if you search up on YouTube, um, they'll say the gun is 35 inches. So I got a little confused and did a little more research. It turns out that I got an extended barrel, which is awesome. So, you know, I just thought that was really nice. Um, so, yeah, let's. This is a starter sniper, as you probably know. You know, um, it's not. A Shadow Ops L96 gas sniper rifle or anything like that. Um, it's 430 FPS, I think, with um, uh, .12 and 15 FPS with the 20s. Cool thing about this gun is that even if you use .12s, it's still you know very accurate. You don't have to get $20 bullets or BBs just to get good accuracy. You can get your regular ten dollar uh, .12s and it'll work great. So that's I think that's a cool feature about this gun. Um, the magazine is right here. As you can tell I have some uh, tape on it because when I got it it would click in. This part of the magazine would be fine. This part would hang off a little bit as if it was a little loose like it wasn't manufactured well that part so I put a little tape on it to give it more width and now it's uh, perfect um, uh, yeah it's um, 
yeah, what I, um, oh, yeah, notes, just real quick about, um, this channel, my friend Forge, who does all the RC reviews, and maybe sometimes Airsoft Elite re Airsoft reviews, um, he, um, has an intro to it, like, uh, you know, with all the, um, what's it called, the music and all the words and stuff like that, so, uh, ooh, excuse me, I kind of burped, but with all the music and all that stuff, so, and I wouldn't, because he emailed it to me, and my computer, for some weird reason, would not let me download it, so I wouldn't be able to edit it on there every time I make uh, these videos, so that was kind of a drag, um, so I wouldn't be having any of, the, any of that cool intro, um, so yeah, let's try, um, like I said, 430 FPS, if I'm wrong, because I'm not sure, like I got this gun today, so, um, I don't know that many facts about it, um, Weird thing here, these little bolts and stuff, it's just, it's just not your regular type of, um, you know, little attacher thingies. I don't know, I just, I've never seen that before. Um, what else is there to say? Oh yeah, um, I will not be having edited clips and videos because right now I don't have very, uh, right now I'm doing it on my mom's phone as you can see because I don't have a good a good camera. I'm going to be trying to get a good camera either for Christmas or, um, you know, my birthday or anything like that. So, yeah, I will not be having edited. So, if I'm like, um, what else is there to talk about? You know, stuff like that. Just, you know, don't even worry about it. Or maybe if I'm in a battle, which I will not be doing battles yet because, like I said, I don't have a good camera, it's not going to be edited. Um, because a lot of times it's weird, like, have, um, a cool guy to subscribe, subscribe to in these, um, airsoft things is Scout the Doggy. He does a lot of editing in his clips, and I don't like it very much because I like to see what's, everything what's going on, even if the guy's just walking, you know? I don't know why, I just like that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, me being me, I will not edit. Um, if you wanted to skip through the boring parts, fine with me. I will not judge you. Um, sorry for my finger there. So, yeah, that is a ZM-51. Now, to the ZM-21. This gun is fairly, fairly small. Um, it's probably the size of, of a G3. Um, holds up to 8 or 10 BBs in the clip. It, it has, the one I got has a full metal construction, which is really nice. Something is, that's funny about this, um, what's it called? Pistol, uh, that it looks a lot like a burrito, but, um, Beretta, burrito, burrito, you know, I don't even care. Uh, it looks like a burrito or Beretta, just a miniature size, so I thought that was kind of cool, uh. Yeah, that's basically it. The FPS is 220, I think. And, um, you know, it's just, it's alright, I guess. Um, yeah, so, I think that's it. If I have forgotten anything that you would like to know, please leave them in the comments. I will answer them. And just a quick note, when you see someone random called Amy Miantka on the... Con on the comments saying like please watch more of our videos blah 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 that is my friend Forge logged on to his mother's account so you know don't don't get all freaked out like stalker so um yeah so this is all I have to say about um this gun super nice I think um what oh yeah what I forgot to mention something weird about it it's like the hop up in a in a little bit is a little, I don't know, um, reversed. Instead of the hop up going like this, this, with it going up, it kind of goes like this, straight, 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 but down. You know, so I don't know, I don't know why it does that. I will do some more research. It still goes pretty far. Um, it's low FPS, but it goes like 200 feet, which is really nice. Um, so this is not a sniper where you want to be aiming at someone uphill. 
it will not make it, period. So, um, you want to be sniping from, <coughs> excuse me, uphill. So, yeah, this, I think that's it. Um, one of the bad things is that the, this stock doesn't have a cheek rest or anything, so it gets kind of, um, uh, what's it called? Uncomfortable, uncomfortable, but you'll sing over, uh, when you're pulling back the bolt. Uh, the bolt weird is not that hard to pull back. You just gotta get used to it. So yeah, um, I think this is a great starter sniper rifle to see if, you know, you like the airsoft sniper, uh, way. I'm not all for that ghillie suit and, and, uh, and co uh, covering the orange tip and, 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 you know, extreme camouflage and outranging your opponents by, I don't know, a million, billion yards or something and all that. I'm not for all that stuff because, I mean, that's a little bit, um, over the top, I guess. I, that's for me. If you guys like that kind of stuff, hey, you know, it's a free country, man. Uh, so, yeah, I think, I just think that it's a nice starter sniper rifle and, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. And, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button down there. Ooh, down there. And hit that like button down there. Because that says that, that says to me, you like the video, you would like to see more, stuff like that. And subscribing says that, I mean, you're awesome, and I would just love to see more of your videos. So, you know, that just really encourages me and, and my friend Forge. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye.